What's the difference between this and this? Let's find out. What's up everybody? My name is Darren Bikamian, the head coach and owner of Fit Cave Boxing, certified personal trainer, nutrition specialist of six years with years of competitive boxing experience. So what is the difference between this and this? Well, the main one is their boxing stance. And today I'm gonna to show you how to pick yours. There are two main stances in boxing, depending on your dominant hand. If you're left-handed, you're gonna be in what's called a southpaw stance. If you're right-handed, you're gonna be in what's called an orthodox stance. Now, why must I pick one stance over the other? Well, in boxing, we can set up our power shots coming from our dominant hand with our non-dominant hand. You might see this a lot in any fights or sparring videos. Boxers will sometimes use their non-dominant hand maybe to reach out, maybe to throw a punch, to blind their opponent so they can come back with a nice power shot coming from that dominant side. On top of that punch being powerful, because it's coming from that dominant side, power is also being created from the range of motion that it has to go through to get to your target. It has a much longer range of motion, so force is being created as that motion is being performed. Now, depending on your dominant hand, that's going to be the stance that you're going to be starting off with in boxing and probably staying in for most of your boxing career, if not all of it. Only until you get experience enough with that original boxing stance, almost until it becomes second nature, then can you start to incorporate the other stance into your training when you're competing and things like that, maybe to kind of add versatility to your game and get an upper hand on your opponent. You want to keep away from boxing in both stances early on because that can confuse your mind and disrupt your growth. Now that we talked about how to pick your boxing stance and why you'll be in that stance, let's go a little bit more in depth in what these stances actually look like. So if I'm orthodox, I'm going to have my feet in a nice L shape with my left foot out in front of me and my right foot back. I want this L-shaped position. I want my feet to have a good distance apart where I feel controlled. For me, it's about shoulder width apart. From here, my knees are gonna be slightly bent. My weight's going to be on my back leg. My torso is gonna be turned to protect my body with my elbows in and my hands up protecting my chin. Notice how my chin is slightly tucked, my shoulders are relaxed. I should feel nice and comfortable in this position, okay? We never want to be too forward heavy in boxing. That's why I want my weight on my back leg. When I'm forward heavy, I can get off balance while moving or throwing punches. I try to tell people, make sure you see the bigger picture. For Southpaw, it's going to be the same concept, same techniques, only differences, our feet are going to be switched. So now my right foot is out in front of me and my left foot is back. In that L-shaped position, chin slightly tucked, torso's turned, arms and hands protecting my face and body. In this southpaw stance, I'm going to have my dominant hand, which is my left back, and my non-dominant hand, which is my right hand forward. If we go back to the orthodox stance, that's going to be reversed once again. Left hand is out in front of me while my right hand is back. And I can use these lead hands to set up those power shots, those punches, to make them as effective as possible. Now in boxing, we do have different guards or different positions our hands are in. You might have seen some boxers box their hands down, right? A little bit more flashy. Some are really good in that Philly shell style. Floyd Mayweather does that very well. Those different guards can be effective in experienced boxers, but I wouldn't suggest starting off with those in boxing, given that you are more exposed with those hands down or those hands just in different positions rather than being up at your face. Protecting your chin and your elbows are in, protecting that body and those ribs. This will give you a much better peace of mind rather than having those hands down or in that Philly shell style where you have to be more wary about where those punches are coming, defending them, and throwing that counter punch. Now let's practice boxing in that stance we just learned, whether you are a southpaw or orthodox, I'm gonna be demonstrating here on the bag in my orthodox style, then we'll be switching to southpaw. So starting off in my orthodox stance with my left foot out in front of me, my right foot is back, torso's turn, hands up, elbows in, 
keeping that slight bend in the knees the entire time so I can be controlled. Let's get into it. From this stance, I can throw a jab, a cross, a hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut, and notice how I'm always resetting back to my stance. Whether it's after the combination, maybe I'm bringing my hand back to my face after each punch, I wanna stay protected, I wanna be ready for the next punch to be thrown. Now getting into that southpaw stance, right foot is out in front of me, left foot is back, still keeping the same concepts and techniques as the orthodox. I'm going to make sure my elbows are in, protecting my ribs, hands up at my chin, protecting my face, keeping that torso turned, weights on my back leg, knees are bent. Starting off with that jab, adding the cross, hooks and uppercuts. So let's review. We went over how to pick your boxing stance, either your southpaw or orthodox, why it's best to stay or start out in those specific stances, and what those punches look like. I will be making a separate video in the future on how to throw those basic punches, putting combinations together, and helping you becoming a better boxer. So be on the lookout for those. Hopefully this video helped. I would highly suggest taking what you learned in this video, which is that boxing stance, practice being in that, get comfortable with the stance before you move on because that is the most important thing. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell. That way you get notified anytime I upload. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something and looking forward to seeing you in the next video.